Absolutely. You can catch that game, of course, live on the NFHS Network. We're going to be doing all of our normal festivities pregame around 6.30. It will bring you all the coverage live Friday night. So expect a sellout crowd. It's going to be energetic, to say the least. Uh, real quick, we're going to take a break, and when we return, we'll be joined by Ty Baker of Wilson Central Golf. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Wildcat All Access. Ken Nelson Jr. has been a real estate agent for over five years. As Blackwell Realty and Auction's top producer, he has over $70 million in sales. Ken knows his business and would love to help you with all your real estate needs. Remember, whether you're buying or selling, if you really want to win, you'd better sign with Ken. Give him a call at 615-566-3452 or email him at winwithken1 at gmail.com. Have a great day, friends. Welcome back to Wildcat All Access. We're being joined by Ty Baker now. Jake, you had a few questions for Ty. Ty, first of all, I just want to talk about the season as a whole so far. What are your thoughts? Uh, it's been rough, but we're going to try and pull it out during districts and try and have a four good scores to try and make it as a team to region. Definitely so, Ty. And that Hendersonville team in our district is always good. You've always got to watch out for them. Yeah, they're a little down this year. One of their best players is playing football, so he's not playing with them this year. So they're a little bit down. Really the team to watch out for is more station camp than anything this year. Definitely so. A station camp, especially on the ladies' side of things, have some very, very <laughs> phenomenal golfers. Yeah, they do. Uh, with Lynn Lamb and Lily Budworth, they're pretty good. And, I mean, Lynn Lim, she shoots under, under every par, single time. About every single time she yep. comes out. Yep. Definitely so. And I also want to talk about transitioning from last year to this year, the loss of Andrew Lena and Connor Smith. Uh, Trey Melvin taking the helm and you right behind him. How have you changed? Uh, that's Those were two good losses because, I mean, they played sophomore – or, well, my sophomore and junior year, but they're junior and senior year in the top five. So, I mean, they got experience, and now we have two unexperienced guys, and we have to keep one of their scores, so it's been tough. It definitely has, as Eston Parsons and Zach Wilson rounding out your top five, as well as Mason Adcock. Yeah. So, with Eston and Zach, this is really their first year playing, like, varsity golf with all these top-notch kids who can actually go out there and shoot pretty good so it's been tough on them and it's been tough on us as a team but we're going to get through it definitely so is really this season y'all haven't been what everybody expected but by no means have you been bad no we haven't been bad uh we've shot some okay scores this year uh me and mason have we did okay through most uh tournaments and zach has came through in a couple tournaments and so has eston and Trey shot pretty good in almost every tournament we've played. So, yeah, it's been good. Which Trey's one of those guys that you can almost always count on to come out and shoot below 80 at least. Oh, yeah, easy. He's usually around par. Yeah. And then on the ladies' side of things, the ladies aren't bad. The Castle Triplets are very good golfers. But you got you basically have to count in station camp because Lynn Lynn's going to be under par every time she comes out on that course. Yeah. Uh, Kate and Sarah's really – they've – picked it up this year and Molly's picked it up too this year but Kate and Sarah is really going to be the two that you're going to look for to shoot and try and get the region as a team definitely so Nathan any questions for Ty really I just want your outlook and your expectations for the remainder of the season um honestly I think if we get one good score during districts that can back our top three up we can make it to region and then from there Trey will probably make it to stay as an individual, and me or Mason might too. All right, well, there you have it. Ty Baker of Wilson Central Golf will take a quick break, and when we return, we'll be joined by Wilson Central senior football player in Colby Pickett. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Wildcat All Access. Take your kid's birthday party to new heights this summer at Urban Air in Northeast Nashville. Activate awesome with virtual reality, spin zone wipeout, and our warrior course. Get up and get fly on the Sky Rider, ropes course, and climbing walls. Urban Air Adventure Park is located at 4331 Old Hickory Boulevard in the Grandwood Shopping Center. Book your birthday party today at urbanairnenashville.com. Welcome back to Wildcat All Access. We're being joined by Colby Pickett and C.J. Hatchett of Wilson Central Football. Guys, 
you made it this far. It's a huge week for both of you moving forward. Mount Juliet on the road Friday night, coming off of a huge 54-0 win last Friday night against Antioch. How are you feeling? Me personally, I'm feeling great. Uh, the team, we got a lot of confidence going into this next game. A lot of people don't believe in us, but we feel like it's us against everyone. So we think, we think we're going to come out with the dub this week. CJ? I feel good. The team energy's been good all week, so hopefully we can get the dub. All right. Well, we know Mount Julia right now has not had the season expected coming off of that week one upset with Stewart's Creek, who has been outperforming, to say the least, most of their opponents. They had that early bye week, which we mentioned earlier in the show. And, of course, the road win with Levin. That's where people thought they were going to start kind of rebounding, coming back to their normal selves. And then last week, a 7-0 loss at Gallatin. It was a purely defensive game, to say the least. They're kind of shaky at 1-2. and two. You guys coming in with all the momentum in the world, 4-0. and oh, A good start in the region with a road win over Rossview. You've got everything you could want. What are you looking forward to here with Mount Juliet with this opportunity, knowing the history? I mean, we don't really think about the 11-year streak. I mean, we just think of it as opportunity number five to where we can show people we are who they think we are because everyone thinks that we're 4 and 0 because we've been playing easy teams or whatnot. But we really out, like, we, we, we're a real team. Like, we're really out here. So we're going to show people that this Friday. That's our main focus is to show people we are who we really are, who they think we are, really. CJ, we know the energy has been electric for the past couple weeks. Homecoming last week, Mount Juliet this week, back-to-back -back huge weeks for Wilson Central football. Yourself, how has preparation been, not just for last week, but this week especially? This week has been different. Like, the energy has been different all week. It's just been better. Like, just trying to prepare to win. That's all we really care about is this game, best game of the season. All right, well, you've got Mount Juliet this week. You've got Gallatin coming up. This is probably your toughest three-game stretch right here, Mount Juliet, Gallatin, Hendersonville. I know you guys are ready for them. I know you're ready for Friday night for sure. You've been going hard all week. Oh, yeah. It's almost time, guys. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here. Again, C.J. Hatchett, Colby Pickett. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll wrap things up. Coach Lerner will be joining us here momentarily. You're watching Wildcat All Access. Don't go anywhere. Some people just have a knack for being there when you need them the most. Like your third grade classmate who sticks up for you against that bully. The neighbor who gives you a jump start. And the friend who chases away that flock of geese at your outdoor wedding. Your state farm agent has your back too, through good times and the not so good. And who's got your agents back? State Farm, the company people have trusted for more than 90 years. We're here to help life go right. Call Jeff Gannon today at 615-773-9000. Again, that's 615-773-9000. Dr. McCutcheon is a board-certified family medicine physician who lives in Mount Juliet with his wife, Lee, and young son, James. He provides care at St. Thomas Medical Partners in the Providence area in Mount Juliet. Dr. McCutcheon is experienced in pediatrics, acute care, chronic disease management, and many office-based procedures, including injections for musculoskeletal pain and removal of skin lesions. He is currently taking new patients. Walk-ins are welcome through the Express Care Clinic, and same-day appointments can be scheduled online at stthomasdoctors.com. Welcome back to Wildcat All Access. My name is Nathan Maxwell. Jake Hood here to my left. Jake, we just heard from Colby Pickett and C.J. Hatchett on Friday night. Of course, Friday night is the big road game with Mount Julia. And, Nathan, you really can't express how con – no, crucial this game is going to be it really for is. the Wildcats. Because if we beat Mount Juliet, we pretty much are guaranteed a playoff berth. That's right. We've two wins in the region that we're looking pretty good from there on forward. We've got a lot of momentum heading in with Gallatin and Hendersonville, two games we don't desperately need to win. But if we keep that up, we have a great chance at a 9-1 or a 10-0 season. I don't want to get too far yeah. ahead of myself, but these are the tough three. They really are. And if we can get past these three, Nathan, I'm with you. We may end up dropping a game here or there, but if we can get past especially Gallatin, we may end up going 10-0. That's that's a big if. We don't know. We All sorts of things can happen between now and then. Definitely. You never know what to expect, especially with high school football. 
but it's a big possibility right now looking it ahead. It really is. Especially the way Gallatin's been playing. They've been playing really well, but they haven't been playing really consistently. It's been either all offense, all defense. There hasn't really been that good in between that can keep them above water for very long. Yeah. And I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but looking into the postseason, Oakland's sitting in the other region. I and they are so. beating teams by 50 points every week. That, and that's scary. That is kind of scary. Oakland, uh, the kind of team dropping 86 points on Kenwood earlier in the season. So that's it's always fun to watch Oakland play. Yeah, but that is a whole another level of even football right there. Like Rutherford County teams, pretty much every Rutherford County team is guaranteed to be good. Right. And they beat Siegel 63 to 13 last week. Siegel. I'm scared of what they're going to do against teams in our region. It's going to be a fun thing to watch, keep up with, but we don't have to worry about that just yet. Right now we no. have to worry about Mount Juliet, Bryce Messenger, and the Golden Bears on the road. Last time we were on the road and played Mount Juliet, we know it was a 35-0 defeat. It wasn't what we were looking for at all, but a lot has changed since then, and we haven't had this much momentum heading into a game like this in a good number of years. Definitely so, Nathan, and they're undefeated. The Wildcats are undefeated 4-0 going into Mount Juliet, and Mount Juliet not only graduated a lot of players, but they lost pretty much their X factor from last year in Reggie Grimes, who transferred to Ravenwood. Right, Ravenwood, of course, another one of those big teams. They're, new, they're doing pretty good right now, you know, breaking state records all over the place, D1 commits. So if, any, if he was going to transfer anywhere, that's probably a pretty good spot for him to go. It definitely is, as he is a five-star commit as he's looking at SEC schools like Alabama. Right. And that's another one of those teams that is just scary good at Ravenwood. Because we're going up against them for game of the week this week. It's either us and Mount Juliet or Brentwood and Ravenwood. Battle of the Woods, always a fun game over there. We've definitely got our own so. little rendition of that here this week in Wilson County. You know. Right between the lakes, if you want to call it. The battle between the lakes. I've heard that being the name. There's all sorts of things that have been thrown around. Uh, but Central and Mount Juliet right now is probably at the peak of excitement. When it they comes really are. To hyping up a rivalry game. And you can guarantee that that Brentwood-Ravenwood game is going to be good as they face each other in the, I believe it was the quarterfinals last year in the state playoffs. And... Garcia over there for Ravenwood is phenomenal. And oh, then Granzo yes. for Brentwood is an amazing quarterback and an even better baseball player. He's got some wheels on him, too. He really does. He can move when he needs to. I expect to see a lot of uh, speed option, read option like plays out of them. But and we've seen that out of Wilson Central this year. We have. We've got options. Lewis can run. Ali can run. Hatchet can run. We've got Widelock, Robinson. They can all move. And we've, we've got people to throw to this year. We do. We, we've been utilizing that very well, too. It's not that we – the way we use the spread has been a very interesting development this year. Yeah. Because we didn't expect to see Tristan come out and play with the confidence that he did right off the bat. He was an understudy for Carpenter last year, like we've talked about before. Eight for 13, 96 yards and a touchdown last year. And coming in this year, he looks absolutely – Spectacular. He does. I expected him to take a few weeks to, you know, work into it, get a rhythm about himself. But, yeah. no, he jumped right in, and he looks like a superstar. He really does. And not only him, but Xavier Ali, the running back that we found on accident pretty much, was a wide receiver the previous two years and coming in this year and just absolutely lights out in the backfield. He, he really is. And thank goodness we found him that way because – Right there, you got power and you've got speed. That's enough to win in this region. It really is. If you've got a back, especially built like he is, 6'3", 200, and he can move. He's going to oh. be able to run over to guys. He can get around guys, and that's what you need in this region. It really is. You've got that. You've got the combination of Tristan Lewis with his feet when he needs to use them. He's not a big scrambler. No. He's not going to get out of the pocket a lot and move around, but he will when he needs to. I think he showcased that enough this season to where we probably don't even have to say that. He's had a rushing touchdown against Antioch, and he had a, a highlight reel 58-yard touchdown against Rossview 
And that shows he's able to get out of the pocket when he needs to. Absolutely. You've got that. You've got his arm strength. You combine his arm strength with the guys like Colby Pickett, the guys like Brett Robinson. When they send him out on these flat routes or these swing passes, it's all a recipe for success, and that's all it's been right now is success for the Wildcat offense. We really haven't had to throw the ball deep. We may get like a 40-yard pass maybe once a game, but we don't have to air the ball out when you've got no. Ollie in the backfield and you can swing it out to the left or the right, and you've got blockers up front. We have a bunch, a bunch of veterans on that O-line. We do. I mean, Tyler Chavez has probably done the most outstanding job, I think, from – last year to this year Definitely. when it comes to improving he is getting off the ball and shifting to the other side of the offensive line and just leveling whoever comes near the ball carrier and Chavez as big as he is he can move he's got the size and he can move oh, we've yeah. seen him come out and get somebody in the left and then run around to the right and get somebody over there he's absolutely pancaking people he is same thing with Alex Kane Kane's got the size he's mobile he can move around that offensive line and that's all you need when you have that size to your advantage. It's great. Yeah, it's it Kane, it's Richardson, well. it's Bird. It's all of them. They can all move. Defense as well. Blaze Holder, Marcellus Buchanan. Those kinds of guys that can blast through opposing teams' offensive lines and get to the quarterback have been working absolutely phenomenally. And we've seen tons of sacks from Buchanan and Holder this year. And Blake Hobbs. Blake Hobbs, Hobbs is was player fire. of the week this week, and he yeah. was playing phenomenally. He is on, on fire. It's going to be fun to watch them play Friday night. It really You'll is. You'll be able to catch that live on the NFHS Network. If you're not subscribed, subscribe today. I don't know what you're doing. But you can also follow us on Twitter, WCSN16, for live updates, of course, for every live sporting event at Wilson Central High School. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we'll be joined by second-year head coach of the Wilson Central volleyball team, Macy Lerno. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Wildcat All Access. Samantha Smith with Tennessee Orthopedics is here to serve Middle Tennessee. From sports injuries to fracture care and injections, from shoulders to knees, she fixes it all. Same day appointments are available. Give her a call at 615-449-0990. That's 615-449-0990. Or come visit her office at 101 Physicians Way, Suite 111 in Lebanon, Tennessee. Welcome back here to Wildcat All Access. Again, I'm Jay Kud, joined alongside Nathan Maxwell and second-year head coach Macy Lerno. And, Coach, it's been a phenomenal season thus far. Yeah, it has. It's been a great season. Um, I feel like the girls are really enjoying themselves, and they have fun every single day. So it's been awesome. They really do, and that was a huge win against Lebanon last night. Yep, big win. Um, a lot of good leadership last night on the floor. Definitely still, still undefeated in District 9 AAA. I believe y'all are 5-0 and oh now. Yes, 5-0. and oh, So we have Smyrna, Laverne, and um, Mount Juliet left in our conference. And y'all will be seeing two of those teams next week yes. as Mount Juliet and Smyrna both come to town. Mm -hmm. Yep, at home. Definitely so. Be sure to tune in to those next Tuesday and Thursday. And another question I want to ask you. So an 18-7 and seven year last year, mm -hmm. and that was just – an upsetting defeat in the first round of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. What are you looking to change in the postseason this year? We're just hoping that um, everyone brings their role to the court. Um, no matter uh, how big or how small, just everyone having each other's back and um, just positive leader leadership and wanting uh, that passion on the floor at all times. Definitely so. And you've got the leadership in Brill this year. But some underclassmen have really showed out. Mm -hmm. Dalton showed out. And, of course, we've seen Wilson and Knieven. We saw them last year on varsity as freshmen mm -hmm. just absolutely show out. And they're bringing it back to the court this year. Yep. Um, they're, they had some big shoes to fill, and every day they're stepping up, and every day they're growing. So it's Definitely exciting so. to watch. And the only two losses you had this year have been extremely good teams. Siegel and Cookville are both very good volleyball teams. Mm -hmm. We will see Cookville again um, in the next two weeks. So we'll as come from. will travel to face the Lady Cavs. And I wouldn't be surprised – if we see them in the postseason as well. Very true. We, that's a good matchup for us as well. So, As Cookville plays almost like Lebanon, very fast paced. Yes. But we're able to handle the Lady Devils. Yes. If we will shut down the outside of Cookville, we will be in a good spot. So I have faith that we will. Definitely. So, and Nathan, any questions? Last night we know it was possibly the most intense three-set match we've seen all season. And 
possibly will see all season. Mm -hmm. What's that doing right now momentum-wise for you and the team moving forward with really bright lights ahead? I think that it's just showing um, everyone what we really are capable of. Um, Lebanon is one of our biggest rivals, and it just showed that we can take it, uh, an advanced team to three, and just it gives us even more um, momentum, like you said. And it just gives the girls uh, some more reassurance that they are amazing. So We know last year Lebanon and Wilson Central were probably the two top District 9 teams, mm -hmm. and right now it looks to be the same sort of ordeal. Mm -hmm. And a win like that at this point in the season is probably going to help you guys out tremendously when it comes to seeding and the postseason. Mm -hmm. What's the message right now to your team knowing that you're in that position already? Um, the message is to uh, never take the game for granted, um, that whoever you face is there for a reason. It's going to teach you a life lesson, um, maybe good, maybe bad, uh, but you have to take every team like um, – they're number one and you play every single day like it's your last day and every touch is your last touch and you just you go all out so that's the message and coach right. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here mm -hmm. but you do have a chance at hosting the district tournament this year yes how does do. that feel it's just an exciting moment um, for Wilson Central and it's an exciting moment for my seniors for um, Actually, all my team, just because their hard work has finally paid off and they're finally getting the uh, recognition that they should. Definitely so. And again, 9-2, and 5-0 and oh in the district, mm -hmm. and just a great team this year. Yep, awesome. We've had amazing memories. So, Nathan, anything else? I think we're good. We'd like to thank you for joining us here today on Wildcat All Access. And if you're watching back at home, we'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, but until next time, Friday night. Wilson Central, Mount Juliet on the road next week. We've got some big volleyball matches coming your way. So be sure to subscribe to the NFHS Network today to get all those events live. Follow us on Twitter at WCSN16 for consistent live updates on all Wildcat sports. And until next time, I'm Nathan Maxwell. That's Jake Hood. This is Coach Lerno. We thank you for watching Wildcat All Access.